In this video, we will go over how to convert a VT Pro project into a CH5 Crestron HTML5 interface. For best practices, it is recommended to start this with a project that you have already. The first thing we are going to do is go over the layout of this project. By clicking the inside of the page, this should tell me the page size. This reads 1280 by 800. Please note that in VT Pro, all pages will be the same size since it will lock the page size to the panel of this project. For instance, if your project was designed for a TSW 1070, it will be optimized for a 10 inch 70 series panel. I recommend taking note of this. Throughout the video, you may have noticed that I have a notepad open. This simply allows me to take note of all of the sizes from VT Pro and keep track of the parameters once we create our project using HTML5 and CSS. For this exercise, we are using the TSW1060. For a TSW1070, the size would be 1920 by 1200. VT Pro offers full size pages of one size and multiple sub pages of different sizes. In this case, CH5 is slightly different. Projects in CH5 are going to be the same size regardless of what your project consists of in one page or another. We already listed that the project size is 1280 by 800, so let us continue with the main page. The main page of my project will be the full size of the project. Next, we need to check what type of assets are on the main page. Under the background properties, we see that the background image I have is a custom image. To ensure that I have the same background image in my CH5 project, I will be exporting the image from VT Pro. To do this, open Image Files, locate the image, right click, and click Export Image. Next, we will discuss the image object that is attached to this join number. By sliding the image, we can see that the purpose of this image object is to make a button. It is important to note that while there are three separate objects, an image, formatted text, and a second image to create this look, this will be treated as one whole object in HTML5. Beware that this image object has an alpha value or a background opacity. To see this, we will go into Image Style and click on Style. Here we can see that it has one of the VT Pro presets. For HTML5, I would say it has about 80% opacity. Let us fill out more information in our notepad. Lastly, join numbers. The purpose of the join numbers allows us to have a communication system between the touchscreen and a processor. In this instance, we have a join number of 1 attached to the start button of our main page. Of our main page. Note that this is a digital press join of 1 since the image object is going to need the ability to transport digital and serial messages. In regard to join numbers in HTML5, we will discuss the different methods of communication in HTML5 in a later video. 